In the UK at the moment, hospitals and GP surgeries can't easily exchange patient information stored electronically or on paper, which means that if patients have to visit different health services, their health records won't usually travel with them. The NHS is trying to change this by introducing technologies that allow clinicians to exchange patient information more easily, while increasing the availability of data for research and policy. The Wellcome Trust funded our group to look at the hopes and concerns of patients and the public in relation to wider sharing of health information for healthcare, research and policy. We carried out a survey and found that although many people supported the idea of linking electronic health records through time and across different services, some were still concerned about privacy, security and about who would have access to their information. We explored this in more detail in group and individual discussions with patients and members of the public and then organised workshops where participants worked with a team of artists to represent some of their major hopes and concerns about sharing patients' health information more widely. When people considered how their records would be shared between health professionals, different opinions were voiced. Imagine if you were really ill, unconscious in hospital. Wouldn't it be reassuring to know that the doctors understand what medication you're on and what you're allergic to? I'm happy to share my health records with medical professionals, but there are some areas like sexual health or antisocial activities that I don't want to share. How far is my information going to travel? Participants also expressed mixed views when discussing data sharing with researchers. I'm glad some good has come out of my illness and benefited the world. Will they exploit us or reward us? Some results may be silenced and skewed for commercial gain. Patient access to their own health records was strongly debated as well. Access to my records could help me have a more productive dialogue with my GP. Maybe we don't understand the medical terms and do not interpret the records accurately. Some people might hack into and change their records. In our discussions with patients, they often said they needed better information materials about how their records are shared within the NHS and beyond. Participants wanted to have direct access to relevant and high-quality information, which clearly explains how their health records are used and shared. Instead of having to spend time and effort looking for materials that can be difficult to find and hard to understand. In a first step to respond to this need, we have started compiling a list of existing resources, which patients and members of the public might find useful. The link at the end leads to our blog, where we maintain this list of information materials on electronic health records, including advice about how to access your own health records online. We would like to thank our participants for embarking with us on this exciting journey and to acknowledge everyone else who made this research possible. Of course, this is only a starting point and we look forward to developing this work further with the valuable help of patients and others interested in this topic.